What up everyone, Rich Mays Lopez for SoulCollector.com. Nike has several collabs on deck, the Zebra Yeezy Boost 350 V2 returns, and more. This is the release roundup for the weekend of June 24th. The swoosh is adding to its yearly Native American N7 collection by dropping an Air Flight Hirachi Ultra, two sock darts, and a Kyrie 3 on Wednesday. All four sneakers are inspired by and will benefit Nike's N7 fund. The Hirachi Ultra features a mix of white, black, and yellow. The men's sock dart features the same mix with a graphic printed upper. The women's sock dart features an orange speckled upper with white and black. And the Kyrie 3 is done in white, black, and yellow with a speckled swoosh. Release date is June 21st with retail prices ranging from $120 to $130. Nike Lab and designer John Elliott are linking up to release two premium Vandal Highs on Wednesday and Thursday. Both colorways feature premium solid colored suede and leather uppers, done in sale and an anthracite with rolled edges, straps to the ankle, layered swoosh hits, and a white sole. Release date is June 22nd at Colette and Nike Lab P75 in Paris, and on June 23rd on JohnElliott.co. Nike's new sneak of the year is back this week with the release of the Triple Black Vapor Max Find It. Much less limited and much less expensive than the very similar CDG collab that dropped earlier this year, the sneaker features a mix of black and anthracite on the upper and a full-length blacked-out air unit. Release date is June 22nd at a retail price of $190. Nike SB is linking up with world-renowned chef David Chang on Thursday to drop the Nike SB Dunk High. The sneaker is inspired by Momofuku's noodle and sandbars and Momofuku's chef's aprons. It features a dark gray denim upper, a white midsole, and a gum outsole with Momofuku's peach logo at the heel and a Momofuku-inspired flip of the Nike SB logo on the tongue. Release date is June 22nd at Fuku in NYC and June 23rd at select Nike SB retailers. Nike and Pagala are linking up for an extensive collection of apparel and footwear on Saturday. The collection features men's and women's wear and two colorways of the Nike Shake Indestruct. The sneakers are inspired by France's bid to win the 2024 Olympics and were designed to represent a futuristic takeover of the classic retro sneaker. Release date is June 24th at select Nike Lab retailers. After dropping in very, very limited numbers back in February, the Zebra Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 returns on Saturday. The re-release pair is identical to the first, and it features a mix of white and black striped priming on the upper with red accents and a white blue sole. Unlike the first release, this release is going to be a lot less limited with pairs selling at hundreds of retailers around the world. As always, don't let this fool you because everyone still wants a pair and they're still not going to be easy to cop. Release date is June 24th at a retail price of $220. And now for our pick of the week, the triple black Nike Air Vapor Max. Yes, we could have picked the Zebra Yeezy once again, but since it's a re-release, we're going to go with something new this time. The Vapor Max is easily Nike's new sneaker of the year with every colorway selling out on day one so far. The Triple Black Vapor Max might be the best colorway to drop so far and it's a nice consolation prize if you couldn't pick up the CDG pair that dropped earlier this year. That's it for this week's release roundup. Hit us up in the comments to let us know if you're copying anything. Make sure to check out the release date section on SoulCollector.com for all the most important sneaker releases and subscribe to Soul Collector on YouTube. I'm Rich Mays Lopez, best of luck this weekend.